Wow, what a beautiful, clear, sunny day. There is not a cloud in the sky. This is unusual for Massachusetts. In the Northeast US, we often get a lot of clouds, even if it's sunny. But today, it's perfectly clear. I've been waiting for a day like this to do an efficiency test on the charge controllers inside the garage. So let's go in and check them out. Well, here we are inside the garage and we have two grow watts, a Victron charge controller. Now I've got one of these grow watts turned off and this one is on and the Victron charge controller is on. So we're going to do a couple of measurements here. I want to measure the efficiency of this charge controller and I want to measure the efficiency of this charge controller. But because the charge controller is built into the inverter, the main efficiency of this type of setup is when you're using the power immediately. So right now this inverter is bringing in solar power, but it's also uh, powering up the mini split. So if we cycle through here, We've got 3,400 watts coming in from solar and 900 watts going out to the mini split. Now I could read all this uh, stuff on the Victron using the app. Now this is the shunt and the shunt is showing 4,000 watts going into the batteries right now. Now I could also go back and I could check out just the charge controller and the charge controller is gonna tell me info. Almost 1,800 watts coming in. Now I could measure the efficiency just off of these numbers, but instead I'm going to take the readings with this meter on both of them. That way I'm getting consistent results. Okay. So right now we've got 33.3 amps and 53.96 volts. And then if we change this over, we've got 12.2 amps and 150 volts. And into the grow watt, we've got 200 volts and 17.5 amps. Now, one of the interesting things is that we're powering a load on it right now. We've got 854 watts going to the air conditioner, to the mini split. And we've got 44.2 amps going to the battery at the same time. Now I'm gonna turn this off into just charge controller mode. So I just turned off the rocker switch so we're not exporting anything. So this says that there's 3,400 watts coming in. Now the battery voltage is right there at 54 and we're sending in almost 61 amps. And the PV is 17.5 amps and 201 volts. We just saw that this Victron charge controller is 98% efficient and the GrowWatt inverter is 94% efficient at charging the battery. So it sounds like a pretty clear winner that the Victron is more efficient and it is at charging the battery. Uh, but that last measurement that we took that showed a total of about 93% efficient if you're using some of the solar energy and charging the battery. That's where these types of inverters really shine. They have the charge controller built in to the inverter package. They really do well when you're using that power as soon as it's being created and skip the whole battery charging thing. Let's run through just a little bit of math to demonstrate. If the grow watt is charging the battery at 94% efficient, and let's say the battery itself is 99% efficient round trip, and then the inverter is 94% efficient at taking the battery out at night and creating the 240 volts. Well, then we have 
0.94 times 0.99 times 0.94, or a grand total of 87% efficient. But if you can use that power directly as it's being created at 93% efficient, well now we're saving ourselves 6%. That's amazing, 6% energy savings right off the bat. Before we moved off grid, my wife and I used to do things like the dishes and the laundry uh, at night in the evening time uh, after dinner. Uh, it seemed like a convenient time to do it. But these days we've changed our time of doing those to during the day. So we really take advantage of the efficiency of running these inverters during the day when that solar energy is coming in. Hey, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.